still struggling to understand Twitter and how to actually use it? Well, stick around because in this video, I have five simple tips for you that will make things a lot easier and they're coming up right now. So here we are on my Twitter profile, Mark Warnken. And in this video, I have five simple tips that you can all start taking action on straight away that'll help hopefully demystify the world of Twitter. Um, Twitter has been around for you know, 10, 15 years now, but it's still confusing for the vast majority of the population. So tip number one is to get the most out of Twitter, I want you to set up and optimize your profile for success. So this top area here is your profile, all of the information that you want to um, tell the world about yourself. And this is very important from a business perspective, less, less so if you're just going to be scrolling on Twitter and using Twitter for it as an individual. But from a business perspective, you want to have a banner image or a cover image. You want a profile image over here on the left, you can see my smiley face. You want to choose the right username, the username here, only one person in the world can actually get that different from your profile name. You then want to customize your bio, tell the world what you are, who you are and what you do and what you're all about, that type of thing. You may want to tag the city you're located in, definitely add a clickable link to your website. I've done a added a clickable link to my YouTube, those type of things. And once you've done that, start tweeting and then pin that tweet to the top of your Twitter profile. And I'll show you how to do that um, as we go through this video. But that's tip number one, set yourself up and optimize yourself for success here on Twitter. The vast majority of people can't even do that right or don't even do that right. And then they just get lost in the wash. Um, you know, amongst the hundreds of millions of Twitter accounts. Which brings us to tip number two, which is how to create a simple tweet. That's right. Now, I have left that out in other videos and a lot of people have messaged me saying, Mark, you've covered lots of information, but you're not even showing us how to tweet. So I'm showing you this on my desktop computer because it's a larger screen and it will be easier for everyone to see. But you go to the blue button that says tweet and on a mobile phone, it will be a blue feather um, feather icon. So you click on that and then up pops this page. And then you can start sharing your thoughts and you start typing away just like I have done here Sunday long weekends here in Sydney just creating more YouTube videos now you actually get 280 character spaces but tweets with less than a hundred character spaces tend to get more engagement now I'm going to add an image as well and you just click on the icon and it uploads a photo. We're all very familiar with that. You would upload a photo from your mobile phone or your computer. Now I've uploaded this particular video, watch time tripled, and that's how simple tweeting can be. So let's just press tweet. And if I scroll down a little bit, there it is here. Sunday long weekend here in Sydney, just creating more YouTube videos. And I've added an image. I suggest people you try and add an image for more often than not because it will stop the scroll. So that's how simple it is to do tip number two, which is how to tweet. Now, tip number three is all about how to add hashtags and tag someone on Twitter as well. So Again, we're going to hit the blue tweet button, or if you're watching this on the mobile, it's going to be the blue feather icon. Up pops the box. Now I'm going to copy and paste that same information that we just did in the in the tweet before, and I'm going to select the same image as well. But this time I'm going to add some hashtags. Hashtags are just reference markers. This is how people search online on Instagram and Twitter and, and places like that by hashtag. So you want to add some relevant hashtags in regard to what the video or what your tweet is all about. Now, the first hashtag I am adding is YouTube videos because this particular tweet was all about how the watch time on my um, YouTube channel and YouTube videos um, tripled. The second hashtag, I'm going to add YouTube views. And the third one, I'm going to add YouTube watch time. There we go. That will give people a reference to search for if they're looking for um, a particular information or a topic, and then my video will pop up. So hashtags we have done. Now, how do we tag someone? You then want to go to the at symbol and then type in someone's name. And you, um, uh, Twitter is going to auto-populate the suggestion. So I just need to leave a space. You start typing someone's name as if you want to tag someone. Now, here we go. I'm going to tag myself. And that's how simple it is, again, to start adding hashtags and tagging. So let's tweet. 
So if I scroll down again, here is that updated tweet again, Sunday long weekend, the same information. We've added the hashtags, which now become clickable and searchable. And we have tagged. So I know I tagged myself in that one. And you normally wouldn't tag yourself. You'd normally tag someone else. So, And if you tag someone and they have notifications um, activated, they will get a notice saying they've been tagged in a tweet. So that was tip number three, how to use hashtags and tag someone. Which brings us on to tip number four, which we need to now click on the home page and that's going to take you to your news feed on your Twitter profile. That's right. So I can now start scrolling through and seeing all the news information that's coming through on my news feed. Tip number four is all about how to retweet. That's right. You've possibly heard the term retweet. Um, and think of it this way. A retweet is like forwarding on a message, forwarding on someone else's tweet. It's like forwarding an email or it's like forwarding on a text message. So let's do this one. That's a particular eye-catching image. And remember we said before, adding an image and, and adding video, it's they're very eye-catching. And this is a great example of it. So this is a, a tweet. It's about a rare blue um, barium titanium silicate mineral. Anyway, lots of tongue, twist, tongue twisting um, words there. But I'm going to go to this particular icon here. And when you hover over it, it's all um, it pops up retweet. So you can click on that. And it's going to give me the option just to retweet in full this particular one. Or I could actually add a quote to it as well. You could add your a quote saying, hey, amazing, or this looks interesting, or how about this? But I'm just going to click retweet. And I have now retweeted. I'm the 179th person to retweet this particular post from Massimo. And that's how simple it is to retweet. Now, that's going to appear on um, select news feeds of the people who are following me. And that's how simple and easy it is to share information here on Twitter. And that's when we call it a retweet. Which brings us to the fifth and final tip, and we're going to utilize the search function. That's right. We're going to use Twitter to search for information. Amongst many things, Twitter is a giant database and a search engine. Now, the NBA finals are on in the um, United States, the basketball. So I'm going to do a search for NBA finals to see what information comes up. And as I scroll through, I up pops references to anything that is related to the NBA finals. And this is where hashtags come into play. This particular one here is a tag. They've tagged the NBA. But if I start scrolling down, here we go. See hashtag NBA finals. So that's how simple it is to use Twitter as a search engine. And that's why it's important to get your hashtags right. Because if someone's looking for information on a particular topic, um, here we go here, NBA Finals. This is a particular one, 1997, Michael Jordan, Chicago Bulls, that type of thing. So there are five simple tips on how to use Twitter. Go to the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know how you're using Twitter. Um, there are lots of tips I probably could have added, but I wanted to keep this video short, sharp and sweet with five simple tips. Go to the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter as well.